What's up guys? Welcome to another update video. It is Saturday. Unfortunately, update was delayed one day, but we did release a classic update yesterday. I'll talk about that in a little bit. But uh, yeah, here we are. Ready to go. Let's uh, let's get started. I guess we'll just start with the classic update. Only a few things uh, were updated. So we are logged on. So first thing, Rosalo is back. And he also... Oh. He's supposed to sell the vote thingy, but he doesn't. Uh, does Trader stay? Uh, okay, well that's a mistake already. He's supposed to sell the vote title, but he doesn't. So that, uh, yeah, that sucks. No, I didn't add it to here either. Well, anyways, Rosalo's back. He's supposed to sell the vote title so people can get the vote thingy. Uh, cur currently not added, but I'll add that back. And then just a, two other little changes. Slayer Shop now sells $5 bonds. And the Trivia Shop now sells $5 bonds. Uh, yeah, if you have any other, like, quick ideas or just things you want to see from Classic, I mean, by all means, suggest. Suggest a way. If there's any fixes or thingies I can do to make the game better for the people who play it. It's five people. I mean, I imagine it's because you can log in forever, but shout-outs to all the people online. Let's... Here's, uh, what's, a uh, Ah, shit, I don't know the items. It's Sierra's Charm. Does that even work? I don't know. If I'd, um... Five dollar bond. You get a five dollar bond for being here. Uh, that was probably not worth the effort. All right, cool. So classic, yeah. And then I removed the event. All right. Anyways, uh, this thing, uh, new update out. Uber boxes are added. I'll open up a couple of those in a sec. Uh, change the price for the pet mystery, the pet mystery crate. It's just two two dollars cheaper. And I also renamed it to crate because it looks more like a crate than a box. Uh, Skeleton Warlord, Master Zin, and Goblin Banker are the three new legendary companions. These are pets with perks. These are suppresses. Goblin Banker, what the hell could that do? It banks. That's exactly what it does. Uh, you got Master Zen, who I, I'm trying to make better. Because at the moment... Uh, okay, so you can basically reset your tasks an infinite amount of times. It's just a little much of a process to, you know what I mean? Like, you see what I mean? It could be better. It could be streamlined. I didn't, this was obviously the hardest one to code of the three of them. But, um, yeah, so this one, I, I want to try to make it a little bit better, a little bit more, a little easier. We probably will have the Slayer reset form at some point. But the plan for that is to be like, like you'd be able to straight up just pick your task. So it would be very broken. And we obviously have to be able to code that. So, uh, yeah. So yeah, but uh, Master Zen, uh, we'll hear. They're probably going to get some additional perks down the road. So, I mean, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll think. But for now, they just kind of are really simple. The, the bankers, obviously, uh, very straightforward in a, and where that would be good and how it would be useful and everything. Although, I can see right now that they might be too good in the wilderness. Because you can bring, pretty much just bring, bring everything you want and go boom, boom. And, uh, yeah, I didn't do anything to stop that. So, I probably should make it not work in the wilderness. But uh, right now, if you want to do that, if you're getting PK'd and you want to bank all your shit, have at it. Go for it. Yeah. Uh, so that is the Gavlin Banker. Got Skeleton Warlord, who boosts your melee stats. And uh, again, what I was thinking is making both of these two combat ones. If I could get combat, like if I could get your minion to help you with combat. I don't know if that's necessarily something I'm going to be able to do. But if we can do it, that is something I'd like to do for these two combat related ones. Uh, yeah, I guess that's all three of those. You can get them from pet mystery crates and of the uber boxes. That is the the main ways to get them. And also, oh, oh no, no, I guess not. I guess not. Never mind. I was gonna say the group loot chest, but the group loot chest has uber box in it, and that's why I. Uh, that, that the uber boxes are pretty broken. They're they're basically the the end game box that we'll ever have on the server. Uh, when you open one, you're guaranteed to get a hundred mil coins, and you you're guaranteed to get the effigy. So you will get all of that stuff. As you saw, we did just get the skeleton warlord pet. Uh, I'm thinking what I'm doing is what I'm going to do is make it so that all additional legendary component or legendary uh, companions can be sold to a person for like half the donator points back. So let's just say I already bought this and I got it again. That would obviously suck. Or if you're just a normal player who gets Uber boxes through a means, I'll show you in a minute. Then yeah, that so those those extra duplicates because you can get duplicates. Um, I'll make it so that they uh, need bank stuff. I forgot about the fact that. Oh, why? Why does why? Why is that a thing? Why is that a thing? So I mean, you can see you can get some stuff that's here. Nothing you can get is locked behind skills. 
so you still can't get things like uh, uh, whip or I mean obviously whip's not important but whip dragon boots the serb boots uh, just anything that has level requirements to actually unlock it like a cult necklace for example even though it's not a very good item uh, I want to make sure that those were never in the items and then I think some other in-game stuff like raids and Zora stuff was not there bandos and god wars was kind of like the it was basically the highest exception I'll show you the entire list of everything that's currently on the table right now so you can kind of just go through right here and take a look and then the weights is all of the numbers added up I'll do an opening video because that's usually a better you know way to see them so I'll, I'll definitely do one of those but uh, for now I just figured I'd show you what they look like and again that's going to be the end game box we'll never have another box we we'll, there will probably be new additional items added to it but again it's gonna be things that are, are basically around bandos here or lower and then anything custom we add that's added there. Like, for example, the Book of Light and Book of Terror are both in there. And any newer, you know, uh, weapons and stuff like that we do. So then let's get in with the rest of the updates. If we go to this person right over here, Konko and Any, Probably should just take that instead of walking. You have Elena right here. And Elena, did I spell her name right in the update list? Let me look. Yo, yeah. okay, yeah, it's simple. All right, so if you talk to her, she tells you how many daily task points you get, or you have, I mean, and then you can also purchase some stuff now. So you can purchase a mystery box, $5 bond, mystery pet crate, and Uber box. So if you do all three of your daily tasks uh, for the entire month, you basically get a, an Uber box. And they're very easy to do, it's just kind of tedious, and obviously you'd have to play. Um, as far as like the balancing goes, we'll see if, if any adjustments need to be made. I need to remove that period right there. It looks dumb. Also need to move the space. It's probably unnecessary. Uh, but uh, yeah, so now you can spend some of your daily task points. I don't think daily tasks are really anything that anybody does. It's like to do. But now, now that there's a reason, maybe we will. Um, so let's get with the bug fixes. Uh, ja charge Dragonstone jewelry scrolls will work now. The Wilderness God Wars dungeon will now work correctly. If you're wearing a Bandos item, it'll protect you from the Bandos, minions, etc., etc. The Master Wand will now auto-cast. The Revenant Dragon now counts towards the Ghostbuster achievement. So people have been reporting recently that the Ghostbuster achievement has not been working, but uh, I tested it today, and the only one that did not work was the Dragon. All the other ones were working for me, so I'm not sure if it's... Uh, you know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm guessing people just killed the dragon and then noticed they didn't count. But people were saying that it was only the imp that counted. I don't know. I was getting multiple different reports, but the only thing I was able to confirm was that the dragon didn't work and that's been fixed. And then ancient effigies now spawn underneath you. This really only applies to Zolra and Kraken. Um, it was originally coded to drop where the monster died, but obviously for Zolra and Kraken they die in water, so that didn't work. Um, so it was just the easiest, rather than making a, sp a specification for those two, to just make it spawn below you. So now, you know, if you ever get the Asian effigy drop, just keep that in mind. It's going to be b below your feet. Hopefully you'll still be able to see it and everything. Um, so balances cha balancing changes. We have the odds of receiving mysterious emblems, resource packs, and Laren's keys have been improved. The odds of receiving rare items from Laren's keys have been improved by about uh, three times. If you watched the uh, Laren's key opening video, we opened 250 keys and we got two rare loots. So, really, if, if I was to do that video again now, the odds would be that I would get six loops. So, it would be three times better. Obviously, odds don't work that way exactly, but that would be what the odds were. So, uh, should be a lot better. Should be more likely that you'll get those items. You now also get adventure points from using Laren's Keys. The odds of receiving Ranger Boots from Medium Clues has been lowered. Um, I don't really know what I was thinking with the number it was originally, but it was way too high. So, that's been kind of decreased. It's still better than it originally was but uh, way worse than it was the last few patches. So just keep that in mind. The amount of dark components you get from dark stones has been halved. It gave up to 500,000, and that was the old number from Revival 1. Revival 2, obviously, the, you know, the dark stones are a little harder to get. It's basically, well, I, I wouldn't say they're harder to get. It's just that you have to kill two specific monsters to get them or donate. Not everybody wants to do that. And uh, the dark co components have a lot more value on Revival 2 than they did on Revival 1. I honestly couldn't even tell you a single thing you would do with them on Revival 1. Uh, but, yeah, that has been increased. And then the massive undead cow boss is now 4,000 HP, and it should have... And it has its defensive stats lowered. The goal for that is to make it so that more people can damage it. You do have to do a minimum amount of damage to get credit for the kill. And I'm thinking we might have to tweak some numbers real quick to mess with that. I don't think the cow boss like I, I wanted to do a lot more cow boss related updates this update and I just 
I just didn't get to him, unfortunately. So I don't imagine we'll do be doing a lot of cow boss masses this week. But hopefully next week when the um, improvements I can make are added, that there'll be a lot more motivation to go do that. So we have the last bit of changes as I or the last you know section as other changes, which I guess is all the stuff I've already talked about. Uber boxes, the daily point task, and then the legendary companions. Uh, and then the last thing I'll talk about is you can now disassemble some uh, some uh, some items right here. I'll, sh I'll just show you the list. Go uh, Glory Amulet T. It, it was supposed to be in a couple updates ago. I mentioned that it was added, but it didn't work correctly. That's been fixed, so now it is there. Uh, <laughs> if I undo... A Ranger Tunic now is 0 to 150k. Uh, uh, a Book of Terror and Light is now 250k to 1 mil. And then Dwarf Cannon set now gives you 50k to 200k Uber. So that is it for the video. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to have a lot more videos. I know I always say that and then no videos come. So I probably shouldn't promise that there's going to be more videos until you actually see the more videos. But there will be more videos. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.